Alright, yeah, again, someone sent me this ages ago, and again, it's been on my computer for ages, I've been trying to recently clear off all the ones that I've got and just didn't do, but this was one, and I have actually been wanting to do this, surely this can't be a hundred jokes in f under 15 minutes, I mean, if it is, that's impressive, but surely not, but top 100 Rodney Dangerfield jokes. Yeah. Let's go. I tell you, I can't relax, you know? Right, the other night I was in a place I felt like having a few drinks. Someone over to the bartender I said, surprise me. He showed me a naked picture of my wife. <laughs> tell you the truth, and my wife and I, we never have sex. No. Now, we get undressed, we can't stop laughing, you know? <laughs> I got no sex life. Uh, ten years ago, my wife put me on hold. <laughs> my old man, he didn't help at all, my old man. We used to play tag and he'd drive. <laughs> I mean, it's not easy being me. When I was born, a doctor told my mother I did all I could, but he pulled through anyway. <laughs> I mean, and nobody was nice. My mother never breastfed me. She told me she liked me as a friend. <laughs> so when I was born, after the doctor cut the cord, he hung himself. <laughs> and I tell you, I can't relax, you know? My dog drives me nuts, my dog. He wants me to mate him. I wouldn't mate him. Let him go through what I go through. <laughs> I mean, last week was rough. Are you kidding? Last week I looked up my family tree. Two dogs were using it. <laughs> and I'll tell you, my wife isn't too smart, you know. One night she went out, some guy stole the car. I took you to see what he looked like. She told me she got the license plate number. <laughs> oh, my wife. Oh, one night she told me she felt romantic. I took her to a drive-in movie. I spent the whole night trying to find out what car she was in. <laughs> this afternoon, my wife cracked up the car again. I was out driving her. She told me she would make a U-turn. I'll tell you the letter she made. You'll never find any of them. Well, he's a strange doctor. Strange doctor. Oh, hey, you're kidding. I asked him if my heart was strong enough for sex. He told me not if I join in, you know? <laughs> I'll tell you my trouble. I got the wrong doctor. You know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombach. Know my doctor? <laughs> What a doctor. Well, I called him last week. I told him, Doc, I swallowed a bottle of sleeping pills. He told me to have a few drinks and get some rest. <laughs> Life's not easy. Not easy. You not can't easy. trust doctors either. They're all mixed up. You, you really kidding? think so, huh? Uh, my proctologist used to be a photographer. Yeah. yeah he took x-rays, told me to bend over and say cheese. <laughs> said, oh, low, low, Joe. Oh, I told my wife I want to die in bed. She said, again? <laughs> I mean, I'm getting old. I'm not a kid anymore. I know I'm getting old. In Vegas, I played a slot machine. Three prunes came up. Oh. I know I'm getting old. I'm at the age now, if I hear someone goes both ways, I figure it's number one and number two, you know? <laughs> I tell you, I don't get a break with nothing. I joined Gamblers Anonymous. They gave me two to one, I don't make it. Oh, boy, the other night in Las Vegas, I tell you, I got loaded on what I'm doing. I played dice, I lost a thousand bucks. I got even, though, I stole 400 sweet and lows. <laughs> this afternoon, my wife started in again. Yeah, she keeps throwing up when I work in Las Vegas. I went broke playing the slot machines, you know? I'll tell you, Las Vegas, I got slot machines all over, even in supermarkets. I went in to buy a container of milk, cost me $238. <laughs> My old man, he didn't help either. The time I was kidnapped, they sent back a piece of my finger. He said he wanted more proof. <laughs> hey, you kid, I know I'm ugly. I stuck my head out the window, got arrested for mooning. <laughs> I know I'm ugly. I went to a freak show to let me in for nothing. <laughs> kid, I was an ugly kid, too. How ugly? How ugly? <laughs> I was so ugly, my mother breastfed me through a straw. <laughs> Hey, my wife can't do nothing right. She can't cook the worst cook in the world. Gave my kid alphabet soup. He spelled out help. <laughs> what a lousy cook. I mean, how can toast have bones? <laughs> She's a lousy cook, too. She can't cook at all. I leave dental floss in the kitchen. The roaches hang themselves. <laughs> I live in New York on the west side, you know. Rough neighborhood, rough. I'll tell you, I live in the only neighborhood when I plan my budget, I allow for hold-up money. <laughs> What a neighborhood. Well, the first day I moved in, I asked a cop. I said, how long I walked to the subway? He said, I don't know. So far, no one ever made it. <laughs> no, it's a rough building, a rough building. I tell you, there's nothing but ro Every night, there's robberies, robberies. Forget about it. Nothing but robberies in my apartment building, you know? I mean, every time I close a window, I hit somebody's hands. 
I tell you. I tell you, folks, with me, nothing comes easy. You know, I can't lose any weight. I tried jogging. I keep running into restaurants. <laughs> I was so fat when I got my shoe shine, I had to take the guy's word for it. I mean, I was fat. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Doctors say all kinds of exercise is great. You burn up uh, energy, you lose calories. I mean, in fact, doctors say when a man likes, makes love to a woman, he burns up energy, he loses 150 calories. I made love to a girl once, I lost even more. I lost 150 calories, my watch, and my watch. <laughs> I mean, the last time I made love to my wife, it was ridiculous. <laughs> Nothing was happening. I looked her, I said, what's the matter? Can't you think of anyone either? <laughs> now you can, I know my wife cheats on me. Every time I come home, the parrot says, quick, out the window, you know? <laughs> my sex life is nothing. My wife cut me out to once a month. Cut me down to once a month. Oh, I'm lucky, two guys I know she cut out completely. <laughs> My old man, he didn't help either. Kept taking me to the zoo. He said he was hoping my real parents would claim me. <laughs> and my kids, they don't help either. The other day I told my kid, I said, someday you'll have children of your own. He said, so are you. <laughs> real smart kid I got. The other day I told him about the birds and the bees. He told me about my wife and a butcher. <laughs> I tell you, I can't relax. My kid drives me nuts. The other day I told him, I said, you're young. You don't have it upstairs. He told me I'm old. I don't have it downstairs. <laughs> And this girl was no bargain either. She was fat. Who? Fat, huh? How <laughs> fat? When she wears high heels, she strikes oil, okay? She's fat. <laughs> she was fat. Fat as a big girl. Ooh. Remember how we met her? Hit her with my car. She said to me, why don't you go around me? I told her, I didn't think I had enough gas. <laughs> big, big girl. Well, I met her at the Macy's parade. She was wearing ropes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I always wondered how my wife got her license the first time she took the test. I found out the inspector said he wouldn't go through that again. <laughs> the last time my wife drove the car, she cracked it up, went into a tree. She told me it wasn't her fault, she blew the horn. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding? Oh, my mother had morning sickness after I was born. I don't know, it's not easy. I got no respect the day I was born. Really? No respect. The doctor picked me up and smacked me? I found out the nurse, she got a few in two. <laughs> Now, with gambling, I'm never lucky. Well, last week at a track, I shot off the opening gun, and they killed my horse. I mean, I'm getting old. I'm not a kid anymore. I know I'm getting old. In Vegas, I played a slot machine. Three prunes came up. Oh. I mean, people look at me, they figure I'm the type of guy I get, I get drunk and go to the track, right? They're wrong. I get high first, I get drunk and go to the track. <laughs> my old man, he didn't like my looks either. But he carried around a picture of the kid who came with the wallet. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding? My old man never liked me. When he took me hunting, he gave me a three-minute head start. <laughs> and on the way home, he tied me to the fender, put the deer in the car. <laughs> oh, I'm not a kid. I'm getting older, Johnny. I'm yeah. getting older. Are you kidding? I took a vacation, went to Mexico. I got the walks. <laughs> getting old, you kidding? My age to me, the daily double is prune juice and an enema. <laughs> My last birthday cake, I couldn't blow out the candles. The heat drove me back. <laughs> I'm ugly, I'm Tony, and my proctologist, he stuck his finger in my mouth. <laughs> this guy was fat and ugly. Ooh, was she ugly? Ugly. How oh, ugly? I took her to the beach. They asked me what I used for bait. Ugly <laughs> <laughs> chick, you kidding? When I took her home, my mother put newspapers on the floor. Oh. I mean, ugly. I gave her a hickey. I got fur on my mouth. <laughs> Now, I tell you, my wife with eating is always problem. She's a strict vegetarian. In fact, when I met her, she was grazing on the front lawn. I mean, she can't cook at all. She made chocolate mousse and antler got stuck in my throat. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, though. When I have sex with my wife, it's like magic. As soon as I get in bed, she disappears. <laughs> but I'll tell you one thing, when my wife does have sex, she screams. Ooh, especially when I walk in on her. Ooh. <laughs> oh, the other night, she met me at the front door wearing a see-through negligee. The only trouble is, she was coming home. <laughs> Oh, I tell you, I can't take it no more. And this afternoon, I said to my little girl, I says, when you grow up, what do you want to be? And she looked at my wife. She said, single. <laughs> well, the other day, I called my house. My boy answered the phone. I said to her, let me talk to mommy. I heard the kid say, mommy, it's daddy. Are you home? <laughs> I don't get no respect from anyone. Well, last Christmas, my kid wanted a BB gun. I gave him a BB gun. He gave me a sweatshirt with a bullseye in the back. <laughs> I'll tell you, nice, nice to hear you laugh, though. I'll tell you, that really is nice. Now, because where I live, there's no laughs, you know. I live in a bad neighborhood. Well, just last week, a guy pulled a knife on me. I could see it wasn't a real professional job. There was butter on it. 
No, but I'll tell you, Dean, since I live in his name, I was attacked only once, just once, you know? But the strange thing, the guy who attacked me, he had class. Yeah, he used an electric razor. <laughs> Actually, I blame myself. I was standing right next to an outlet. Oh, <laughs> well, this guy looked it crazy. He was really something. He took my watch, he took my wallet, and he took a little off the sides. <laughs> uh, my wife, I got no sex life. The dog keeps watching me in the bedroom wants to learn how to beg. <laughs> I told him to watch my wife and learn how to roll over and play dead. <laughs> I tell you, it's tough to stay married to my wife. How do you think I feel? She kissed the dog on her lips and she won't drink from my glass. <laughs> I tell you, I'm sorry. I was a little late getting here tonight. You know, my dog, he started trouble again. I mean, I got a dog, he tries to run the whole house. Well, the other night he started trouble. He went over the front door, he started to bark. I went over, I opened the front door. The dog didn't want to go out, he wanted me to leave. <laughs> I was talking to my doctor. You know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombach. You know my doctor? Yeah. Well, he told me last week in his office he got six cases of VD. I mean, he's all right now, you know. <laughs> well, my doctor, he don't help either. He told me to run five miles a day for two weeks. I called him up. I said, Doc, I'm 70 miles from my house. <laughs> I'll tell you about trouble. I got the wrong doctor. You know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombach. No, my doctor. What a doctor. You kidding me? Well, that doctor, I called him up, I told him I had diarrhea, put me on hold. <laughs> well, they say when you're driving, you know, watch out for the other guy. I'll tell you, when my wife is driving, you don't have to worry about the other guy. I mean, she'll get him. <laughs> oh, my wife took a driver's test, she was happy. She's got 18 out of 20. Yeah, two guys jumped out of the way. <laughs> I remember things when I was a kid. The time I asked my old man where I came from, he told me I was brought by a crow. <laughs> my old man, he didn't help either. The time I asked my old man, how can I get my kite in the air? He told me to run off a cliff. <laughs> I tell you, when I was a kid, I was ugly, too. I told my old man, he never took me to the zoo. He said, if they want you, they'll come and get you. Now, there was one girl, she was so fat, she got in the scale, a card came out, said, one at a time, you know? <laughs> but I'm talking about a fat girl Big here, you know what I mean? Big girl. Big. Big girl, you're kidding, she was standing alone. A cop told her to break it up, you know? <laughs> Hold on. Because I'm actually, it's actually hurting me now. I'm running out of breath. It's actually hurting my chest. Hold on, two seconds. All right, yeah, let's finish it. Well, I tell you, I tell you, last week was a rough week for me last week. I saw my kid and a milkman going to a father and son dinner. <laughs> I tell you, my kid, he drives me nuts where he put crazy glue in my preparation H. <laughs> I tell you what's more important than looks is love. You gotta have love. Love is and important. And I got plenty of love in me, Johnny. That's plenty of, I love a lot of things. Love. I love sports, I love music, and right. one of my kids. <laughs> well, I know I'm getting old. If I squeeze into a parking place, I'm sexually satisfied. You can... <laughs> I'm not a kid anymore, I'm getting old. Yeah. I know I'm getting old. When my last birthday cake looked like a prairie fire. <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is, I know I'm getting old. At my age, I want two girls at once, you know. Yeah. And if I fall asleep, they got each other to talk to. <laughs> and my wife, I got no sex life either. In my house, we put the mirror over the dog's bed. <laughs> Are you kidding? I know I'm ugly. My dog found out we look alike. He killed himself. <laughs> my wife, she can't cook either. My house, we pray after we eat. <laughs> what a lousy cook. I don't think meatloaf should glow in the dark. <laughs> I mean, if she can't cook at all, my backyard, the fire's chipped in to fix the screen door. <laughs> I was an ugly kid, too. I had plenty of pimples. One day, I fell asleep in the library. I woke up a blind man was reading my face. <laughs> Are oh, you kid? I know about the Halloween. I open the front door. Kids give me candy. <laughs> and when I was a kid, my old man, he didn't help either, you know. The time I asked my old man if I can go ice skating on a lake, he told me to wait till it gets warmer. <laughs> yeah, my neighbor, there's, there's nothing but killings over there. I went out, I bought a waterbed. There was a guy at the bottom of it. <laughs> oh, my neighbor was rough. Forget about it, will you? Well, my neighbor, they got signs all over. Drive fast. The life you save may be your own. <laughs> and you know my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombach. You know my doctor? But that a way, uh, what a doctor. He's really mixed up. He grabbed my knee and told me to cough and hit me in the balls with a hammer. <laughs> oh, one time I saw him, he gave me sleeping pills. He told me to take them whenever I wake up. <laughs> hey, my problem is I drink too much, way too much. Yeah. I got my doctor a urine specimen. There was an olive in it. <laughs> My dog, too. She gives me trouble. Your dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I got a female dog, you know. I tried to mate her. She wants 50 biscuits. <laughs> and I tell you, I got a dumb dog, too, my dog. We call him Egypt. Every room, he leaves a pyramid. <laughs> Smoking, that's another one. Yeah. Try to stop smoking, that's a beauty, huh? Well, with cigarettes, my wife and I, we made a deal, my wife and I. We yeah. only smoke after sex. I've got the same pack now since 1975. <laughs> what bothers me is my wife. She's up to three packs a day. <laughs> yeah, he's like... If Americans don't know, look up Tommy. If you like him, you'll love Tommy Cooper. It's very, very similar kind of jokes. Probably a very similar kind of time too. But also Tommy Cooper is, he's actually a trained mu uh, magician. But that's part of his act. He ballses up the tricks. But then he does jokes very similar to that. What's he say? Uh, uh, I was cleaning out the attic with the wife the other day. Dirty, dusty, covered in cobwebs. But she's good to the kids. <laughs> My wife phoned me. She said, there's something wrong with the car. So I said, what's that? She said, there's water in the car, Brett. He says, well, where's the car? She said, in the river. <laughs> Booked a horse the other day, back the horse the other day, 10 to 2. It came in 20 past 4. <laughs> it's so late back, he had to tiptoe back to the stables. <laughs> and then he just do things. That's what it reminded me of, because he just is one of them people who's just funny. He gets halfway through a joke and you're laughing, a bit like Norm as well. That's, I think, a very old school way of doing comedy but Tommy Cooper's like that he just walked up like he's like I was I went to the doctors the other day I said doctor there's something wrong with me tooth and oh it's like I might have been like that oh. it's just stupid things but it's hilarious I recommend watch yeah watch Tommy Cooper Yeah. But anyway, yeah, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. I'll definitely have to do some more Rodney Dangerfield because, yeah, that was jokes. But he's, like, relentless. It's just one after the other. Like, you're kind of, yeah, you're laughing at one and the next one's coming and the next one's coming and it's like, yeah. But, yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet.